Still have some holiday shopping to do? Don't worry, we have some expert advice for you. Plus, do you regret your college major? A new study says students with these three degrees wish they made different choices. And how do you feel about Christmas in July? Give us 60 seconds and we'll show you the only year-round Christmas store in Maricopa County. 12 at 12 starts right now, 12 minutes, no commercials on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Crystal here. Let's get right to today's talker. It's brutal honesty time. Do you regret your college major? According to ZipRecruiter, the top three most regretted majors are English, foreign languages, sciences, and education. Okay, so far you're sounding off 25% saying yes, but a majority saying no. Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. The results just minutes away. Hashtag most clicked. Here are the stories piquing everyone's interest right now. At number one, a major development in the case against Maricopa County Assessor Paul Peterson. The woman accused of helping Peterson run his alleged adoption scheme in Arizona has pleaded guilty to four of the 49 charges against her. The rest were dropped. According to the Attorney General's office, Linwood Jeanette coordinated certain aspects of the adoption process. Jeanette was ordered to pay back more than $800,000 to the state. Plus, wild video this afternoon shows two cruise ships colliding. This video is from Cozumel, Mexico, as the front end of the Carnival legend collides with the back of the Carnival glory. It caused damage to the back end of one ship. This video was shot from a balcony on another nearby Royal Caribbean cruise. Right now, no word on any serious injuries, but it's safe to say those vacations are over. Okay, and we have some good news to pass on from the Phoenix Fire Department. Chief Kara Kochbrenner is doing well after her double mastectomy, and the department says her prognosis is good. The fire chief says she looks forward to returning to work soon and is grateful for all the kind messages she received from everyone. Only on 12 News, we're counting down the top 12 stories of 2019. Coming in at number nine, Brittany Zamora, a Valley teacher sentenced to 20 years for having sex with one of her students. The case taking several twists and turns all the way up through sentencing day. Guys, many people finding the Brittany Zamora case difficult to comprehend. How does a 28-year-old teacher end up having a sexual relationship with one of her sixth graders? Brittany Zamora arrested, accused of having sex with one of her 13-year-old students. We found out exactly how she groomed him from the start, and we learned that there was a witness in the classroom for some of these sex acts. January 2019, a lawsuit officially filed against the Goodyear teacher. The boy's family seeking damages from the school district. At first, Zamora claimed innocence, but then explosive details, including what the boy says happened. The first time we kissed, like, I was saying bye to her and I gave her a hug and she's like started kissing me, so I kissed her back. How the boy's parents discovered the abuse and confronted Zamora. What type of perverted person are you? I want to know right now. We also heard in one of the recordings how Brittany Zamora tried to, in a sense, get out of this, tried to convince the victim's parents not to go to the police. Can we meet, you know, to talk about this? Is this something we can settle out, you know, outside? In police interviews with both the boy and Zamora. I guess I wanted to give you the opportunity because there really is um, very little doubt on what happened. June 2019, Zamora strikes a deal with prosecutors, pleading guilty to three felony counts, including sexual conduct with a minor, attempted molestation, and public indecency. The next month, a controversial sentence, 20 years behind bars. It was an either or. You had no middle ground. People either thought it was insanely over the top or it wasn't bad enough. But some of the experts we talked to said that the 20 years came about because of the victim's age. And shocking reaction from Zamora's lawyer. Brittany is not a predator. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I had just listened to an entire hearing where the same lawyer talked about how sorry Brittany Zamora was, only to come back to her office in front of cameras and call Brittany Zamora a victim. The teenage boy 
was very aggressive. Are you guys really blaming a 13-year-old boy as a victim in this case? That's not what I said. You honestly saying that Brittany was the victim? She just walked out and said she never said it. I couldn't believe that it was such a 180 in the search for remorse to all of a sudden come back and say, I was set up. Zamora is serving time at the Arizona State Prison Complex in Perryville. Her crime leaves her labeled as a sex offender. You can watch more on our special 12 News digital series on the 12 News app and our YouTube channel as well. Guys? Just five days until Christmas, so here are five different ways to celebrate the season. Stroll through the Desert Botanical Garden and be amazed by 8,000 hand-lit luminarias. It'll be 60 degrees when you get there. Clear skies overhead at the State Fairgrounds for North America's largest light and lantern festival. It's incredible. It's lights of the world. That begins at 530. 59 degrees in Glendale or Tempe where you'll be nice and toasty in your car strolling through world of illumination. Just set it at a low speed and enjoy the sunshiny with a high of 44 degrees in Flagstaff for the free skate at the park from noon to six and then drive through a mile of sparkling lights for Valley of Lights at Prescott Valley 44 degrees at the start. Well, Santa's really going to be relying on Rudolph's nose next week, especially on Christmas Eve day, where rain is the most likely here in the valley. Snowflakes could be flying as low as 5,500 feet. We're in the final stretch for holiday shopping, and retailers are still trying to entice you to spend money with them. And it appears to be working. Chris has the details. A mid-season report on holiday shopping yeah. suggests it's even better than predicted. People are spending money. It looks like they're spending it 14% more than last year. But retailers are still dishing out deals for last minute shoppers. Deals this good won't last long. Because it's a shorter holiday shopping season, that means that retailers are clamoring for shoppers business and every single day counts. So if you don't see a deal today, make sure to check back tomorrow. Retail Me Not Sarah Skirbel also has another little trick you can try to save even more. Shop around, put things in your cart, and then leave your website. If you're actually logged in, I can almost guarantee you will get an email in your inbox saying, we saw you abandon your cart, here's a 10% off code on us. But buying online usually requires using your credit card, which investment experts warn can be overused. Don't think of your credit card as an unlimited bottomless piggy bank. Think of your credit card as a means to do your shopping, but make sure you stay within your budget. Credit card reward points, though, can come in handy while holiday shopping. To leverage my credit card points that I've accumulated over the year to redeem them now for things like gift cards and gifts and even Apple products. And speaking of cards, gift cards are still the gift of choice among so many shoppers this holiday season. Chris Clackham. NBC News. Time now for A to Z 60, where we celebrate the people, places, and things that make the Valley so awesome in just 60 seconds. It's the only year-round Christmas store in Maricopa County with an unforgettable name. Rachel gets into the spirit at the Horny Toad. Hey guys, that's right here at the Horny Toad. It's Christmas all year long, so come inside and check out the unique decor that's helping everybody deck the halls. It's 120 outside, and there's Christmas trees in this store. Why do you already have a tree up? <laughs> but owner Nicole Morris and her daughter just can't get enough of Christmas. People travel to Arizona all year round, and a lot of times they're looking for ornaments to remind them of their vacation. The 12 months of Christmas here in Cave Creek comes with one-of-a-kind ornaments. This is a local-made ceramic Saguaro ornament. This is made by Citizen Home Decor, custom for Cave Creek, state of Arizona. On top of Christmas decorations, you can also get a little holiday shopping done. We're talking casual cuffs and cactus clutches. So don't be a nut, get cracking, check that list twice, and don't forget, you don't have to wait till December 25th or even Christmas in July. At the Horny Toad, you can celebrate 365. In Cave Creek, I'm Rachel Cole, and that's your A to Z 60. Checking your money lines, retailers have a $41 billion problem to solve. Wow, shoppers are expected to return a lot of things purchased over the holiday shopping season. If companies aren't ready for the surge in returns, they risk running into supply chain trouble. It could also lead to customers waiting on refunds. 
Taco Bell is putting more items on its dollar menu. The fast food chain will offer 21 options for a buck next year. To make that happen, it's bringing back some retired menu items. That includes the return of the double stack tacos and nacho crunch, chipotle cheddar, and reaper ranch varieties. Now back to today's talker. It's brutal honesty time. Come on, do you regret your college major? According to ZipRecruiter, the top three most regretted majors are English, foreign languages, sciences, and education. It's still holding steady at 25% saying yes and 75% saying no. But keep voting on 12news.com slash bullhorn. And for those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, just comment down below. Time now for the look ahead. The stories you'll be talking about a little later today. Oh, look at this cuteness. Oh, the cutest, tiniest adult dog you'll ever see. We'll introduce you to Ranger, the Instagram famous dwarf dog from right here in the valley. That's ahead on 12 News First at 4. <laughs> well, that'll do it for 12 at 12. The facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes, no commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app, and on our socials as well. We'll see you again soon. Don't go anywhere. Arizona Midday is next. Jan is here with a sneak peek. Yes, today on Arizona Midday.